How do you do? I'm Peter Lorre. It's my pleasure to welcome you to another episode of The Star and the Story. And it's my privilege to introduce what we feel is a very exciting and unusual story. Certainly quite unusual for me because uh, in it, for a welcome change, I play a gentleman who's on the side of the law. In fact, he is the law. He's Inspector André Mondeau of the French Sûreté. Now, uh, this inspector gets involved not only in a very dramatic theft, but uh, in an intrigue with a very beautiful lady, played by a very beautiful lady, Miss Hilary Brooke. I hope you enjoy our little story. It's entitled, The Blue Landscape. You have no idea how very excited I am. At last, to gaze with my own eyes on the de Montpellier art treasures. <laughs> ah, Miss Manning, I'm so glad you got here in time. Le Comte de Montpellier is just going to show us his painting. How charming. Oh, uh, Miss Adelaide Manning, a very dear friend of mine from London, Monsieur Le Comte de Montpellier. Enchanté. This is an experience I'm sure I shall always cherish, mon cher Comte. Will you enter, please? Ah, here is a Renoir, uh, the one you outbid me for in Brussels. But it was you, Monsieur Holt, to acquire the money in Amsterdam. <laughs> How is the expression turnabout? It's Just... fair play. Yes. You art collectors acquire and guard your treasures with all the zeal of lovers and warriors. Uh, Monsieur Lecomte, where is the Corot, the blue landscape? Right over there. It is my particular treasure. The only example of Corot working not in his feathery greens, but in the most delicate of blues. He called it Sur le Lac. It is... No. This is not the blue landscape. This is a miserable forgery. How terrible. My Corot has been stolen. You most certainly are insured, monsieur. Yes. By the Anglo-French company. How fortunate. You see, uh, Miss Manning is herself a representative of the Anglo-French Insurance Company. I will call the Sûreté immediately. I would be very grateful. Uh, here is the telephone. Thank you. Operator? Operator. Paris, please. The Sûreté. Inspector André Mondeau of the Sûreté. How did you know? Everyone knows you, Inspector. I'm Adelaide Manning of the Anglo-French Insurance Company. Oh. You'd expected a man. Oh, well, they didn't tell me. All he told me is to pick up a representative Manning. I know. It's an old story. I, I hope you don't mind. Oh, on the contrary, I'm delighted. How nice to have a beautiful art expert for a change. I expect to learn a great deal from you, Inspector. Everyone knows what a true connoisseur of art you really are. Oh, madame, you're very nice. Uh, <laughs> Not at all. To the Chateau de Montpellier. But all I want is the true Corot returned to me. I do not care what methods you use or how you get it back. I only want the true Sur le Lac hanging back up there at the wall where it belongs. Well, Monsieur Le Comte, I hope in due time this will come to pass. The Corot has belonged to my family for nearly a hundred years. Oh, uh, Miss Manning. Oh. I don't believe, Inspector, that you have met my house guest, Mathieu Holt. Monsieur. Inspector Mondeau from the Sûreté. Monsieur Holt and I are, shall we say, friendly rivals. Hey, what's the matter, Mr. Holt? You seem upset. I can still scarcely believe it. And, and just when I was about to view the painting myself. Oh, I, I don't let anyone see my treasures. No one. 
But uh, my friend here was kind enough to let me come and see them. My friend is completely unnerved. He insists on returning to London this afternoon. Uh, I suppose something would have happened to one of my paintings while I was away from them. It, it, it would be like losing a child. Well, I, I must get back to them. Suppose, mon cher Comte, you tell the inspector about the recent attempt to buy the blue landscape. Of course, madame. You see, monsieur, it's about a month ago, a certain Parisian art dealer, uh, Armand Christopher Carpentier. Oh, yes. Not very reputable. I, I remember I've had dealings with him before. I knew nothing about him. But he made an appointment for a client of his, uh, Mr. Roger Bonnet of the Fort Galleries in London. Fort Galleries? Monsieur Carpentier arrived with this Monsieur Bonnet, and I showed him the Sur le Lac. And Monsieur Bonnet had the effronterie to make the most ridiculous offer. So ridiculous that I asked him both to leave at once. I really must ask you to excuse me. Of course. I will join you later before you leave. Uh, thank you. Uh, goodbye, Miss Manning. Goodbye, Monsieur. I, I hope you will be able to be of some assistance to my, my kind friend. Funny bird, huh? Yes. <laughs> you must excuse my friend. He's an old man and enjoys the senilities of life. <laughs> Tell me, Sir Count, uh, this Roger Banny you mentioned, uh, Firth Galleries, do you know where he's staying? Yes, in Paris at the Hotel uh, Louyon's. Shouldn't we drop in on him, Miss Manning? An excellent idea. This whole thing is very intriguing. Uh, Nothing to go on, not even fingerprints. Well, whoever painted that absurdity would be sure not to leave fingerprints. Hey, Miss Manning, you're not only very beautiful, you're also very sensible. Well, it would stand to reason that they'd wear gloves. Well, that's not what I meant. But you said whoever painted this. Now, that's the one we have to find. It's pretty late. Shouldn't we go back to Paris? I'm afraid by the time we get back, it's dark anyway. Uh, may I take this thing with me? Of course. This has no value to me. I want the true Corot returned. Monsieur Count, I promise you that uh, Miss Manning and I will leave no stone unturned. A bientôt. Merci bien. I hope. Au revoir. Madame. Yes, who is it? Inspector Mondeau, Sûreté. What's the matter? Oh, we just want to ask you a few questions. This, Miss Manning. It's a pleasure. How did you? I say, could you make it a bit later? I I'm dressing for dinner. I'm dreadfully sorry. No, it's I who am sorry, but dinner will have to wait. Oh, well. Sorry, huh? Yeah. Painting business must be very good. Uh, would you care for the martini? No, oh, thank you. Well, I have them made. Perhaps you, Miss Manning? Yeah, thank you. I hope you don't mind if I do. No, no, no. Go right ahead. I suppose you've come to see me about the missing Corot. Yes, the Count de Montpellier wants it back as soon as possible. Am I supposed to have it? You seem to know of its theft. I always read the papers. You do. Oh, the poor Count. Yeah, you know, he might have accepted the offer I made him. Jeremy, why did you want to buy the painting? Because I had a prospective client. But you know, don't you, that it's against the laws of France to export a recognized masterpiece? Certainly. But it's done all the time. That are ways, you know. You see, I run the Firth Galleries in London. We know that, Mr. Bannet. Is uh, this the substitute? It's pretty wretched, isn't it? Well, it's not pretty, it's merely wretched. Does the Sûreté really believe that I engineered this theft? Well, in France, one is guilty until proved innocent. Well, that just shows you what a very unsuspicious nature I have, doesn't it? I do hope, however, that I'm not to be detained. Did you intend to leave France? Yes, tomorrow. Unless the Sûreté prevents me. Oh, no, at the moment you're quite free to come and go as you please. Tell me, you deal in paintings and painters. Any idea who could have painted this? Only a very, very bad painter, Inspector. But you don't recognize the brushwork. Only that it's quite bad. Tell me, didn't you visit the Comte de Montpellier, uh, with a Monsieur Carpentier? Oh, yes. I very often work to the Carpentier galleries. I see. I haven't seen him lately, though. Shall we go, Miss Manning? Oh, I say, Miss Manning, 
Are you any good at this sort of thing? Most girls are. I'll try. I'm no good at it at all. All thumbs, you know. You must pay me another visit, Inspector, on my next trip to Paris. That is, if you'll promise to bring Miss Manning with you. There you are. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, enjoy your dinner. Thank you very much, Inspector. I'm very sorry, Madame Carpentier. You remember me. I've had dealings with your husband before. Madame, uh, may we see your husband? My husband is away on a business trip. What do you want? Oh, I have a feeling he left his painting behind by mistake. If my husband left it behind, it was on consignment. Do you recognize the artist? All artists look the same to me. Well, maybe Madame needs a pair of glasses. Miss Manning. Wouldn't you say that all these paintings are done by the same artist? Well, they all look equally mediocre to me. But Madame Carpentier, how much are these landscapes? Which one? Oh, I have no preference, really. And in fact, I can't tell them apart. And, and no wonder, they are all done by Cesar Lavoie, huh? How much are they? All the Lavoie's are very reasonable. Only 4,000 francs. 4,000, well, you have a deal. I, I take the smallest. And Monsieur le Inspecteur is now in the process of uh, genuine César Laval and for only 4,000 francs. And signed too. Uh, well, who knows? One of these days it may be worth uh, 4,000 francs. One more favor, madame. Uh, what is Monsieur Laval's address? I have no idea. His studio is under his hat. Well, then I have to look for his hat. Oh, Miss Manning. Sorry it took so long, but it seems the hat of Monsieur Labarre was not so easy to find. <laughs> well, we have the address. It's very near you. Would you like to meet me there in about 20 minutes? It's 36 Rue de saint Clou. Huh? All right, fine. 25 minutes. I'll be out till. Oh, my God. Anybody in the studio has calls at this hour. I try to explain to you, madame, okay. I must see him tonight and the door is locked. All this is the same, all this is the same. No regard for the poor, tired bones of an aged woman. Oh, it's bolted from the inside. Hmm? So you see he doesn't want to see it. Stand aside, madame, please. All this is the same, this box, this box. That's your gone to pay for it. That's your gone to pay for it. Ah! Bon Dieu! Bon Dieu! Les autres sont en Inspector. Laval? Yes, but. Murdered. Have you examined them all, Miss Fanning? Every one, and they're pretty dull, all genuine Lavals. Blind alley. Real blind alley, huh? Look, Inspector, it's almost dawn, and I assure you the Count's landscape isn't here. Did you find anything among those papers? You know, according to his passport, he just returned from London. Well, I found a baggage receipt in his pocket. It's for four paintings and one suitcase. Look, here he is, a poverty-stricken painter. All of a sudden, he goes to London. Yes, in first class. Stays but 24 hours, returns, and gets murdered. Now, why did he go to London? Why did he come back so quickly? And why was he killed? Yes, why? Shall we ask Madame Carpentier? By all means. Now tell me, Madame. Your husband did go to London, didn't he? Yes. And why did he go to London? To arrange a one-man show for César Laval. Is there anything wrong with that? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's very enterprising of your husband. Uh, how many of Laval's paintings did he take with him? Sixteen, I believe. Sixteen. Uh, and Laval took over four. That makes a total of 20 genuine Laval's. What gallery was the show to be held? The first gallery. First gallery. Mm, that's Radio Bonnet. 
That's the gentleman who couldn't tie his own tie. Well, madame, I don't think we'll have to inconvenience you again. And as usual, you have been most gracious. Uh, by the way, I think your husband will make a fortune in London. You see, uh, Lavar's stock has gone up considerably. In fact, I think I may even get back my 4,000 francs from Monsieur T, and I had great doubts I would. How do you mean? Oh, well, unfortunately, you see, uh, a dead painter is always more in demand than a life one, and, and Lavar was murdered last night. Good night. What do the people say when they watch the sunrise over Paris? Hello or goodbye. <laughs> I'm afraid it'll have to be goodbye. I better get to London as quick as possible. Do you think the Corot may be there? I don't know. I have to follow my instinct. Might all be a wild goose chase. Well, Inspector, I've learned a lot from you. If you find out anything about the painting, please let me know. My company would send me over at once. I hope to see you very soon. May I drop you? No, thank you. I'd rather walk. Happy hunting. Au revoir. Au revoir. To the airport. You'll have to hurry. Well, to my weary eye, they're all genuine Levites. Naturally. Yes, but there are only 19. Look, Mr. Bunny, I have here a, a copy of the Customs Manifest, and this says you have received a shipment from Paris of uh, 16 paintings. That's right. And then uh, Monsieur Levi himself brought over four, I think. Oh, of course. How stupid of me. One of the paintings was sold immediately after I received it. Oh? Yes. Uh, a client came in, saw a landscape he liked, and bought it. Name of the client, please. I'm sorry, but I honestly don't know. You see, it was a cash sale for a very small amount, only a few pounds. Only a few pounds? Then you cheated yourself. You see, Lavar's paintings are much more valuable now since he's dead. What? He was murdered last night. Didn't you know? Oh, I thought you were the man that always read the papers. Murdered? Now, do you remember the name of your mysterious client, or, or do I have to call him my friends from Scotland Yard? Inspector, I told you, I don't remember. Couldn't by any chance be Matthew Holt, huh? Don't know. Well, maybe I'll drop in on him anyway. Mm. By the way, you should have read the papers this morning. Your, your friend Carpentier was arrested. Carpentier arrested? Just as his plane landed in Paris. What for? Oh, they suspect him of stealing a very valuable painting from the collection of the Comte de Montpellier. Well, goodbye, sir. Monsieur. Tell me, why do you keep your paintings covered up, Mr. Holt? But it's true, one of the great galleries in England and hidden from the human eye. You know, it's criminal. Uh, this is a private collection. It is not for public view. Now, what is it you want, Inspector? Merely to look at the Levi that you purchased from the Firth Galleries. Laval? <laughs> Who is he? I don't sully my walls with mediocre painters. Well, maybe it wasn't a Levi you purchased. Maybe it was a more valuable painting. I was under the impression that money could buy anything, even privacy. I now see that I was mistaken. Look, Mr. Holt, I still have to look at your paintings. May I? All right. Look at my paintings. Thank you, sir. For 25 years, I've shared them with no one, not even a servant. Now, careful, careful! I know. Oh, Vatou, huh? My favorite. How young it makes me feel just to look at it. Those two lovers. She is my loved one. The man is I. See how I hold her with my arm around her slender young waist? I see. Look, Mr. Holt, you could save me an awful lot of time. What I'm actually looking for is the Corot. You know, it's sure the luck. Sure the luck? How I wish I possessed it. I would give a fortune for it. And you don't have it, huh? Certainly not. Is that why you came here? Sorry to have troubled you, Mr. Holmes. I'll have my chauffeur drive you to the station. Please don't bother. It's 
It's only a short walk, and I like the English countryside, oh, very much. Uh, au revoir. Here, yeah, Monsieur Coro. <laughs> yes. You will be at home here among my other masterpieces. I will never let you go. I will protect you always from strange eyes. We will have many conversations together, just you and I. And I will learn the mystery of your color, your composition. And I will see what you have hidden in your shadows. What's that? Who is it? Who is it? Speak up. Who is it? Who are you? Roger Benet, Mr. Holt. What are you doing here? I've come for the crow. I must have it back. No, no, it's mine. I paid you a great deal of money for it. You don't understand. The police will be here in the morning to search the entire estate. If they find it in your possession... I don't care. You can't have it. We made a deal. Who did you bring with you? Why does not he show himself? Never mind, just hand over the painting. No, no, it's, this is some sort of a trick. Don't be a fool. Do you want to put us all in jail? I don't care. Why doesn't your friend say something? Why does he just stand there? Who are you? Good evening, Mr. Holt. You? Yes, me. Are you surprised? But you're the insurance investigator. Amusing, don't you think? Now, give me the painting. No. If you take it from me, I'll tell the police everything. I'm sorry you said that, Mr. Holt. Adelaide. Don't interfere. I've already killed one man. Um, please, please don't kill me. Here, take it. I won't tell the police anything. I'm afraid it's too late. Yes, it's way too late. Where are you? Let me see you. And let you kill me? No, thank you. I mean business, Mr. Inspector. <laughs> Let me go! You didn't think me so stupid as to come here alone, did you? Well, as you see, I... I have a few friends here from Scotland Yard. Oh, I have known about you all along, ever since the night of Levine's murder. <laughs> when you stood there and pretended to be shocked, I happened to notice a splash of color on, on your shoe, and it was paint from Levine's palette. Why didn't I arrest you then? That was simple. There was still a question of the missing Corot. Well, we've found him now. Madame, I'll be seeing you. Sergeant, I think you want me to have too. Oh, so beautiful, it's a shame. Hmm? C'est la vie. May I? Uh, it's pretty close, huh? May I now please have the coro? Must I? I'm afraid you must. Promise me you. You'll take great care of him. That I promise. Must. Uh, I go with you, too? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. Police will be here, no doubt. There will be many questions. But you stay right here with your friends and, and enjoy their company. Huh? I know what you're thinking. All this for a piece of canvas and a few colored oils. Oh, you forget one thing. Yes. One ingredient. I know. Genius. Mm. It's one thing that never should be forgotten. Well, take good care of your friends, huh? And good night, sir. Mm. 